I'm Andrew McPherson, I'm the creator of the Touch Keys, and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about how we can use the Touch Keys to play vibrato and pitch bends. So on a lot of keyboards we have a pitch wheel by the side of the keys that we can use for bending notes up and down. So for instance, now there's two problems here. The first is that it takes an entire hand just to play the wheel, and the second is that the pitch wheel affects all the notes at the same time. So let me show you instead how we're going to do this on the touch keys. The touch sensors measure your finger position both in the horizontal and in the vertical axis. They also sense the contact area of each touch and can even measure multiple fingers on the same key, but we'll save that for a different video. Let's look at vibrato first. It's very easy to play, you just rock the wrist back and forth. and it only triggers when you want it. The fingers normally move a bit on the keys as you play, so it only engages with a back and forth motion. And it's independent for every note. Sometimes the best effects are used sparingly, so the width of the vibrato is also adjustable. Let's add just a tiny bit to this electric piano sound. Next, let's look at pitch bends. These work on the longer axis of the key, and they work together with vibrato. Now on the touch keys, it's no harder to play in tune than it ever was, because wherever your finger starts, that's the note. And it's what happens afterwards that determines the bend. We also have an option that automatically pulls the bend into the right note when you stop, so you'll never play out of tune. But if you'd rather, you can achieve some pretty neat microtonal effects. So let's put all this together into some fretless bass emulation. Next time, we'll look at some of the other effects that we can use the touch keys to control. Thanks for watching.